Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to my beautiful farm. I'm on my way to the milling plant, palm oil milling plant, and I just wanted to show you a glimpse. I wanted you to have a glimpse of our palm trees, our plantation, our where we grow um, our palm trees. We have over 3,000 palm trees and they bear real good. Today is a milling day. We are milling today. We are milling palm oil today and I wanted to take you along with me so you can learn a few things or two. We do milling every month because we have customers who come to buy. So we have on the floor separated palm kennel knots. We actually harvest them. We put them on the floor to get soft and separate them. And we separate them. We actually put them in this first chamber uh, with water at the bottom where they are steamed at high temperature for a full day, 24 hours. Let's go down to the other section. So when they are cooked, we then pull them out and put them in the milling machine. In the milling machine, they are being milled and separated. The palm oil or the oil is being squeezed out through one outlet and the chaff and the knots are being passed out through another outlet. There you can see the oil very rich, very thick, very heavy. And... Uh, as we all know, palm oil is very, very rich. It has some properties that some other vegetable oils like sunflower oil, olive oil, coconut oil, almond oil don't have. It's good for cooking and they're actually sold in different grades that many people don't know. And many African dishes are being cooked with palm oil oil because of the benefits it has so this is chamber number two where the crude milled palm oil is being poured into and cooked for about two hours when it's cooked water goes to the bottom and it's been separated water is being gushed out and um, after two hours or so the fire has been put out and then we then separate grade 1 palm oil, grade 2 palm oil and grade 3 palm oil depending on the demand of our customers. We have different customers who want different things. Remember that all byproducts from the milling or processing of palm oil are important. We have about six byproducts that come out from milling or by or by processing palm oil there are some palm nuts i just picked out from chamber one and they taste real good they are well cooked and the things that were cooked on high steam they are free of microbes of bacteria fungi parasite and viruses it tastes real good remember you are not supposed to swallow the chaff or the palm kennel nuts it's real juicy and it's good for the health and once in a while it's good to have these benefits in your body come along with me so we are looking at one of the byproducts, the chaff and the knots that coming in that are coming out into the metal skin basin that you see, and we have some customers who come to buy it, separate it, and collect the knots and the mill it to produce palm kennel knot oil, what we call in our local language Mayanga black mayanga and white mayanga black palm kennel oil and wild white palm kennel oil which is used directly on the skin is very it's very good for babies it helps to protect them from nappy rash it also uh used to making soaps a detergent 
And back to the topic on the byproducts that are being uh, produced during uh, palm oil processing. We have about six to five byproducts. We have the raw crude by uh, oil that comes out of the other outlets. The chaffs which can be used for manure on uh, food uh, farms. We have the nuts that can be used to process to produce white mayanga and black mayanga that is white and black palm kernel oil and in chamber two when it's been heated when oil is being heated we have the first grade of palm oil is being passed out the second grade of palm oil is being passed and the third grade of palm oil is being passed now in chamber one while the nuts are being steamed there are some oil that that actually come out of the palm nuts and actually go down to the to the chamber below where it contains the oil where oil is and after that chamber one is cooled down then the oil and that palm oil that drops down into the water chamber are being separated that other byproduct which is being collected is being bought by people who make savon or detergents so here we have the chaff. This is what it looks like. Remember, you don't swallow the chaff. It could be used as manure. It's still very rich. And these are the nuts. You can see our nuts are real healthy. We grow our plants organically without manure. And we come to the end. Till next time.